Oh, good morning. It's um, it's Thursday today. Let's try that again. Good morning. It's it's Thursday today. I I have my day off today and. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm still yawning. To, to be fair, it, it's not that early. I mean, it's 7.30. It's just that Thursdays are they're my day off. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't actually need to go, go up this early. But I'm going to the gym. I, I've started doing that. That's become my Thursday routine. And it makes me feel great, both physically and mentally. Um, so that's why I keep doing it. Keep going up early when I actually... The day, the day I don't have to, I guess. Uh, but... The reason why I started started doing that is because I had this new schedule where where I had to do several things after each other. I had to sort of hog, hog have I talked about this? I feel like I, have, I don't know. But I had to use a lot of different machines at the same time. You can't do that when there's a lot of people there. So I thought if I go there early in the morning, then that's not going to be a problem. So I did, but I felt so great afterwards. Um, so even when I've stopped doing these insane workouts, because I... <laughs> They, they make me, they, they're, they're tough. I don't do them every Thursday. Even if I don't do them, um, I want to go get up early um, and get there. Just because I'm, I feel so good afterwards when I've done that, that early. When you're done with your workout before noon, way before noon. Now it's kind of late. I, I've gotten up at 6 a.m. before, for example. Um, been down at 9 a.m. That's a great feeling. So I'm doing that now. Have I vlogged on a Thursday before? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna get get ready for the gym actually right now, and uh, hopefully be there at around eight. Thinking of grabbing a pre-workout um, to get my energy up. I usually do that on Thursdays. I have a if I have a really tough workout ahead of me, which I don't really have today. I'm just gonna do back today. It's not it's not the absolute worst you can do for me. Um, but anyway, and gym gym bag is packed. I'm more or less done. Well, I need my shoes actually. There, gym bag is packed. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna talk about movies later too. Don't worry. Um, I'll, you know, I always end up watching something, and I'll, I'll talk about that. Um, also later today. Uh, this is my day off, but I'm still. I'm gonna talk more about this later too. But I have a presentation that I need to uh, do. I need to go to school and do that real. Real quick, I mean, it's it's a long presentation, but it's, it's only for one class. I mean, I, I only need to get there for one class. Uh, 2.45, gonna talk for an hour. I've never talked that long before. It's only me as well. I have the Civics 3 class or whatever, and nobody else does. I'm, I was the only one who chose that class, so I'm gonna have my presentation uh, to the Civics 2 class. Um, yeah, and it's just talking for an hour, or if they will have, if they'll have questions, it's, it's going to be more than an hour. Uh, just in front of, just just knowing that ten to fifteen people will spend an hour and a half listening to what I have to say, it's kind of scary somehow. I mean, I know that's what you do in school, you, but but still, it just maybe it's the fact that I'm the only one who's going to do do a presentation. And the fact that it's so long, it just feels like it's a big deal. <sighs> I'm gonna talk about death penalty, by the way. Death penalty in Sweden. Interesting. Well, I'll get to the gym. I'll talk more about this when I get home, because I, I want to get there as soon as possible.
Well, hi there. Let's do a commentary to my workout. I've not done that before, but people do that, and I thought that I would. Why not? Um, I will mention this. This will keep going until like the 10 minute mark or so. So if you're not interested in seeing four, four and a half, five minutes or whatever of me working out, you absolutely don't have to. You can skip this if you want to. But I thought that I would include... I've, I've filmed a couple times before when I work out, but I haven't included the, these clips this long, I guess. Anyway, here I'm doing pull-ups with a 10 kilo weight. I usually do them just with, with my body weight, but I thought that I would try with a 10 kilo weight. You know, when okay, I did a few, I guess. And then I did three more reps, uh, mostly without the 10 kilo weight. And here I am uh, doing <laughs> uh, rows, or whatever you call these. Um, I do four, did four sets of this as well. And you'll you can see here that I'm starting to use more momentum as I get into as I get higher up in the reps or you know uh, and you know there are some people who think that maybe you shouldn't use any momentum at all but a lot of people do you know I think that's pretty much the standard way of whatever um, I recently watched an Arnold Schwarzenegger interview and he was like forcing the weight sometimes that's fine so let's listen to him He's gonna make an appearance later, by the way, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> He's actually there on the wall behind me. You can, but I'm gonna film him more close up later. Anyway, um, yeah, this is just a few more reps from another angle, uh, and you can see there a little bit more clearly that I was using momentum, maybe too much. I don't know. Uh, these right here, um, I'm not entirely used to. You can see I keep switching my the position of my knees, and I feel like I did a little, a few too many reps here. So, uh, I haven't done this uh, that many times, um, but um, I actually inc increased the weight on the second set, but then I felt that it was too heavy, so I had to decrease it again, and I just couldn't figure out what weight <laughs> to use. I think I did four sets here as well. Yeah, a little bit of rest or pause. And let's do a few more reps. Come on, couple more. <laughs> All right, um, I think that's it. Yeah, quite a few reps. I don't know how many that was. Seventeen, maybe. Oh, look, empty gym. That's part of the reason why I love going to the gym, or love, but part of the reason why I go to the gym this early because usually there's not a whole lot of people. Uh, and there's Arnold, like I was saying. And. Uh, now I'm going to make a very funny comment, so let's listen to that. Catch him up. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, this uh, is... What do you call these? Dumbbell rows? Dumbbell whatever. Um, sorry about the blur. I guess the, the lights in the ceiling made uh, the picture really blurry. I uh, didn't realize that. Um, <clears throat> yeah soon you will see this from another angle too from the side and that clip is gonna be pretty long uh, I did uh, four sets of this too I guess and then after these I also did a little a few more things a couple of things but I didn't film that I did a lat pull down three sets behind the head and three sets in front of the head or you know whatever um, but a few more people started to gather or whatever in the gym or Anyway, there started a few more people arrived, so I, I decided not to film that. Um, and when I see this, I feel like my form is not great. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like my arm, my left arm, especially before when I was doing the right, when I was doing the right arm, and I had, had my left arm, I was leaning against my left arm. Anyway, I felt like it was maybe it should be more vertical. I don't know, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. I'm still uh, still learning. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't have too much else to say now. Just thought that I'd comment. <laughs> I think I'm listening to uh, Converge, if that's interesting. A metalcore band. They're okay. And now we're gonna see my hand grabbing for the camera. And that's it. And just like that I'm done, or just like that. It took a while. It's um, 
10 a.m. I think I was there for about two hours and I only did back. I don't think I... <laughs> some people would have been able to do that much quicker. I think I rested a little bit more than what is perhaps necessary, but I, I was like, well, I'm not exactly in a hurry and I wanted to rest as much as I felt like I needed to, to, you know, get the most out of each set. Anyway, I am going to get something to eat. Uh, I'm actually not hungry. On Thursdays, um, you know, I don't eat because, I mean, I don't eat before because I go there so early, so I feel like I don't really have time unless I go up at an ungodly hour. Uh, and I think, I don't know if that's why, but it seems like it is because I've seen a pattern here. Every, every Thursday when I get home from the gym, I'm not hungry. Sometimes I'm even nauseated. Uh, I'm not nauseated now, but I'm not necessarily hungry. But you're supposed to eat within, you have like a 30 minute window after you work out. If, and you know, during which your anabolic level or whatever is, is higher. So you, you do yourself a favor if you eat within, within those 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, have sometimes a slightly um, sensitive stomach or it, it can can bother me if I eat too much milk products especially now that I'm gonna do my, have my presentation in a few hours I don't want that to happen so normally oh look we have cheesecake I haven't had this yet but I mean I've had it uh, before but not not this one um, normally I eat this if if we have it because this is really high in protein and is really simple to just prepare but uh, it might it might give me some trouble, so I'm gonna try to find some protein from other sources and some carbs, of course. But that's no problem to find. <laughs> so I'm gonna have an apple, a couple sandwiches, and this bag of protein bites. It's not exactly chips. It's kind of tasty. It it doesn't taste a whole lot. Um, and uh, these are not the absolute cheapest either. But I actually managed to find some. At a local store, surprisingly, um, uh, I've ordered these before once, and they're okay. Uh, I try only to use them in, you know, emergencies when I don't have anything else because they're not really necessary if you have other other food that you can eat. But at the moment, I don't have a whole lot of, of other food to eat, so I'm gonna gonna have this. I, I don't really like spicy stuff, so I don't know why I bought two of these. I have just ate another one recently. Um, they're a little bit too spicy for me, but they only have these, so not much to do. <clears throat> really had to force that food down. You know when you're nervous about something, you know you have these, you have butterflies going through your body more, more or less non-stop. Uh, although I do feel okay about do, about doing this, um, but you don't want to eat. You do, you're not hungry. You're you're just nervous that you're gonna. Just be stuck in the bathroom. Whatever is gonna. You, 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 at least that's how it is for me. I, I don't, don't like eating a lot before I am um, gonna do something like this. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, I don't know how much I said. I can't remember. But I am gonna do a presentation at 2:45. This is my day off. You know, I don't have school on Thursdays, but I'm coming in today. I'm the only one who has the civics three class or whatever the English the English word for this class is. Uh, so I'm sort of coming in to uh, do a presentation about death penalty in Sweden, which I've chosen myself. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna do that for the civics 2 class. And they're like 10 to 15 students, I'm not quite sure. I have I have the class with them on Fridays, so it, it's not like I'm, I'm a stranger there. I, I have half of the week's classes with them, you could say. But still, I'm the only one who are going to... Um, do a presentation today. Nobody else has done it. Uh, it's like it feels so much more formal, or it feels like like a special occasion, like a big occasion. I don't know. Just feels like I'm I'm coming in there. I am. The class is mine today. They they're they're coming there today to listen to me. The teacher is not gonna do any teaching today. I'm gonna do that. It's it's I'm kind of holding the. I'm in charge basically with this class. It's one and a half hours and my presentation, death penalty in Sweden, I thought that was interesting. Um, we, we don't have death penalty but I'm gonna talk about the history of death penalty in Sweden. Um, I've rehearsed a few times. It, it takes about one hour for me to talk about everything. I've never talked 
one hour non-stop in front of 10 to 15 people before like that feels kind of scary feels uh and especially if, if they have questions for me which hopefully they they will have uh because it's gonna feel better if if i am the only one who talks for one hour nobody else says anything first of all it's gonna feel uncomfortable for, for me because i'm the only one who's talking and second it's like nobody has any questions is is my presentation not that interesting well anyway so i'm hoping that they will have questions for me I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say that in the beginning. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. Hopefully, people will. And I think that's gonna make it easier. Um, <clears throat> anyway, sometimes when I stand up there too, I, I don't breathe properly. I have a hard time focusing on what I'm gonna say and breathing. You know, so I might I might say might talk for a minute and then I'm like. <sighs> and then it's hard to continue uh it just i'm gonna have to try and calm down i'm gonna but i think it helps that i really know my stuff i mean i i really i know most of it i'm gonna have to glance down on the papers now and then you know but i pretty much know all of it by heart mm, kind of but i'm you know I'm, I'm of course nervous um i think it's pretty interesting what i have what I looked into, you know, I have the witch trials in the 16th, 17th century. Then move, I, I, and then it moves on to, you know, death penalty in general, uh, how it has evolved in Sweden, and things I found interesting uh, regarding death penalty, different aspects of it. Anyway, I, I, like I said, I know the text pretty well, but I, or very well actually, but I'm gonna, gonna practice some more. Anyway, just to be sure. Okay, I don't know how many hours I have practiced my speech here. I just did it again, went through the whole thing. It's 1.30 now, I'm gonna leave in one hour, a little bit less actually. I'm gonna get there before, try to calm myself down, try to prepare, not be so out of breath. Um, should really eat some more, but I, I don't think I'm gonna eat more. I think I'm just gonna have a big meal when I get home instead, actually. Eh. Well, it went okay. I, 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 now I'd say it went pretty, went pretty well. Uh, there were a few things I would have liked to, I would have liked to have gone differently. I'll, I'll talk, I'll start watching movies and stuff uh, soon. I'll just, I'm just gonna, you know, s summarize this. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of was hoping that. I was thinking before, holy shit, I'm gonna talk for one hour, or well, I, I ended up talking for 50, 55 minutes perhaps. And, and while I was thinking that's a really, a really long time, I was hoping that I would get into it after 10 minutes or so and okay, now, now I'm, I'm comfortable with this. I never really did. And it, it's, it was kinda, it was just tough to stand there and try to, to be, uh, well, try to talk clearly and try to be uh, enthusiastic about whatever about everything I said when I almost constantly felt this oh, this is this is tough as hell feeling, you know, I felt really pressured and really uncomfortable almost all the time and f uh, quite a long time, 50 minutes to, to feel that way when you talk in front of actually not that many people, maybe 10 people, I don't know but I'm really happy to have it done, I'm happy that it's finished but in my mind before I went there, gotta say, I thought that it would go better. Got some notes here uh, that the teacher told the uh, students to write um, positive things that I did. I haven't read them yet actually, I almost don't dare to do that. <laughs> no, th they're positive things, but... I just kind of felt like I didn't get a whole lot of response from the other classmates. They asked a few questions, but it was mainly just silence. And I think that's why I felt uncomfortable, mainly, I don't know kind of felt good when, when I saw a hand. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> anyway, I haven't eaten in like f five hours? Six? That long? I gotta eat. <laughs> so, just prepared my food. This is most of it. Like I said before, I'm gonna have a big meal. Uh, I was carrying it, 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 it. I was carrying this inside here while I was heating up some minced meat and rice in the microwave and when I got back here I was like the microwave was on 
and this was here. <laughs> I was like, what the hell did I put in the microwave? And I opened it and there was nothing there. So I don't know where my, where my mind is at the moment. I <laughs> put the timer on there and closed the microwave and turned it on. And then I walked away with what I was supposed to heat up still standing here on the stove. <laughs> so I, I heated up nothing. Uh, anyway, let's heat that up for real this time. So that's the last part of my 4.30 o'clock dinner. Not sure why this is open. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to watch Oscar by Louis de Fun. That one right there at the bottom. Recently watched a Louis de Fun movie. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and I like that one. So I'm going to check out another one. Oscar. Right. So I've just finished watching Oscar. And this is practically... Essentially, this is a farce, just a 100% farce. Uh, the whole movie, except for just a few shots taking place outside, ex except for those, the whole movie takes place uh, in a house, uh, the, in the you know in the interiors of a house. Very ext extravagant looking house, ridiculous arch ar ar architecture and, and furnishing, and it is just a, a, a farce, a, a tale of confusion and very very fast paced um, dialogue and and people uh, misunderstanding each other and people trying to double cross each other and people lying and everybody not uh, well uh, it's kind of confusing as an as um, you know you who the person who's watching the movie knows what's going on but everyone in the movie doesn't know everything you know some peop some things are being kept from some people and some other things are unbeknownst to some other people. It's kind of, it's complex, it's a farce and lots of stuff to, lots of stuff going on, just a lot of confuse, confusion and chaos. I mean, if you've seen a Louis de Fun movie, then you know that he's absolutely insane and the whole movie is, <laughs> the whole movie is, is, is like that. Um, there were a few things that I, after, it's about, about 80 minutes long, this movie, and after maybe 70 minutes, I, I, so I managed to, because usually I'm, pr I'm pretty distracted, so I, a movie this fast-paced, I'm, I'm pretty impressed that I pr got everything. But after about 70 minutes, I finally mixed a few things together. And in the ending, I was like, wait a minute, what what's that? Well, anyway, and I, now I've been trying to uh, make, sense of, make, sense out of, uh, uh, make sense out of a few things. Um, but I can't really, I can't remember which thing was which, because so much things goes on. Um, I didn't miss anything huge, I, I, there was just a couple details that I mixed together and that I'm trying to remember which was which, basically. Anyway, <laughs> it's, it's great. It's really, really quite over the top. Uh, like I said, Louis is, is in, he's insane. <laughs> Uh, he burned a few calories uh, during the shoot of this, I, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's got some really clever writing. Uh, everything flows really well. I don't know how they shot this. I would like to know how they shot this. I imagine this being played you know, as a theater performance, as an actual live farce. But that would have been really challenging, because there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of things going on. Would have demanded a lot from the actors if this was live. Uh, but it it flows on seamlessly. It's it's um, if they shot this over a few weeks, say, which I don't think they did. Uh, but if they did, then th they've managed to edit it really, really well. <sighs> yeah, that's. There's a lot to say about this one. I'm not gonna get into the plot. It's just too confusing. I'm gonna confuse myself. But if you're in the mood for a really, really fast-paced, uh, <sighs> over-the-top farcical comedy because um, you, you might not always be in the mood for something like this but if you are I think you'll enjoy it it's um, a lot of fun, really funny a little while later time to eat some more again um, and time to watch something some, something more <laughs> I don't know what to watch this time um, can you hear that? 
Recently, uh, over the past few weeks, someone has bought an incredibly loud stereo system, whatever, and been playing music with really loud bass. They played this song before. I, I even fucking recognized this song. Um, I don't know why I went out in the kitchen and uh, uh, anyway. Well, that's not what I was <coughs> what I was gonna say. Um, I, w I think I was gonna say <laughs> how many times have I sat, been sitting here in front of, in front of the TV with my camera here in my hand, looking down, you know, on the floor here where all of the movies and shows are that I've not watched yet. How many times have I done that? Quite a few times. Well, what to watch this time? Kind of feel like watching a horror movie at, at the moment. I only have one though. I have this, Halloween 5. Not heard absolutely terrific things about this and it's a couple hours long not sure if I want to watch that now uh, I don't know actually I, I, I do have another one I have the ring too but I don't feel like watching that either <laughs> at the moment I think I'm gonna check this out Munich bought this a while ago probably like a month ago maybe more than that well it's I've had it for a while so I am going to check Check this out now, I think. It's a long movie. Two hours. Well, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half hours. Approximately. I decided I was not in the mood for eggs. Because that's pretty much what the alternative was. So I went and I bought a pizza and threw that in the oven and I'm gonna eat it and actually <laughs> I started watching Munich but I couldn't really get into it first of all I thought that it was kinda confusing in the beginning so I, I had to rewatch that um, and then well I, I watched half an hour in total and I just didn't really get into it and I didn't feel like watching it right now and I didn't feel like watching another an another two hours of that I just wasn't in the mood for that movie at the moment I guess it also means that I didn't really like it. I don't know. Um, well, it wasn't bad, but I, I, I'll, I'll get back to it. But I actually um, stopped, yeah, and I <laughs> put in this instead. Well, this Rederi, stupid Swedish drama, soap opera. It, it, it's not the worst kind. Uh, this is season one. I've never seen it before p properly. Um, yeah, it, it's not the worst kind of, of a soap opera, you know. I used to watch uh, a, a show called Sunset Beach on my summer break, uh, like 12 years ago or something. And that was really corny. This is not as cheesy, but you know, there's still a fair amount of desperate suspense, you know, just things, you know, a random gun here and there or some kind of corny moments. But it's it's just as much a drama as it is a soap opera, so it's really not that bad um, and I'm enjoying it it's not great but um it takes place takes place on a boat about this family corporation kind of like you know uh, and it's entertaining lots of characters lots of stuff going on not great but I, I, I kinda like it so yeah not Munich tonight I'm afraid don't turn off movies too often it wasn't horrible I just was not in the mood really uh, but I'll be watching this and um, I'll eat my pizza. I, I don't have pizza that often, so I just thought, yeah, I'll have some pizza tonight. And uh, <laughs> putting carrots and <laughs> tomatoes on the pizza, you know, that makes it healthy. So that's why I did that. Alright, I'm gonna stay up for another two and a half hours or so, but I'm gonna, uh, you know, round this video off or whatever you say. Another day, another vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it always. I always enjoy making these, and I, li I 
yeah, I'm glad that people want to watch them. So there you go.